Hey, what's going on everyone? All right, we're gonna try a whole new style here. It's been a while since I've done a video, but uh, we're gonna try this vlog style. We're just gonna try just live action. So I'm on the way right now. You can see I'm kind of driving. No, forgive the truck being a mess. Been at the lake uh, the last couple days, but we're headed uh, up to my buddy's house and we're going to install his Vessel View Mobile. He's had it and uh, we're gonna shoot that video We've had a bunch of people asking about uh, how that gets installed and how it gets set up and all that. If you haven't seen my Vessel View Mobile uh, first video, going over the features of it and all that good stuff, I'll link it uh, up here or here or here, somewhere in here. I'm gonna go ahead and link that so you can take a look at it. And then I've got, uh, I've actually got another video I'm gonna put together for it as well. But so yeah, we're headed up to Portland, Tennessee to go uh, check out my buddy's uh, bright yellow azure and we're gonna install his vessel view so stay tuned all right here we are we're at tony's house look at that pretty yellow yellow is the best color for boats i'm telling you but anyhow there's tony right there and here's his brand new vessel view so we've already kind of scoped out where we're gonna go in here here's his motor it's only a 350 a 6.2 is way better anyhow it's 350 mag right there. So we think we're going to go right, oh, hold on, right there with it. If you look back here, his connection is right there. So when you're connecting your vessel view, look for the blue plug and it should have a label. Well, you can't see what that, uh, that one says. Um, I forget what it says to be honest, but anyhow, we're gonna connect it there. We're gonna run it down here under the ECU plugs. We're gonna fasten it to this loom right here. And then we're gonna mount it right here because that's gonna give us uh, the greatest distance from the electronics back here and the distributor cap and away from some heat. And it's also gonna be very easy. Just open the engine hats like that and take a look and make sure that uh, you're connected, which obviously you'll know if you're not connected because uh, it won't work. So, all right, Tony, are you excited? I'm pumped, and you're plus pumped. I have the handy dandy uh, Terminator. You must have the Terminator to make this thing work. Absolutely, which I've been told. So I do have it. And that is did that come in that package, Tony? Did it you buy did it not. It, okay. it is about a separate seventeen dollar purchase. So still, you're in under two twenty five. Yep. And you get all your diagnostics here. But here's what it's going to look like when you buy the thing. You get your vessel view mobile. And then, like I said, here is, here are your two plugs. So this is what's going to plug into your CAN bus system. And then that purple plug, you'll see Tony, we're going to swap those out. So Tony, go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and swap it. Let's see, there's probably a quick little release here somewhere. There it is. We'll take this guy off. We're gonna put this terminator on. All right. It snaps into place. So step one is done. Okay. Now, now it's just hooking up to the motor back there or hooking up to the electronics and then we'll mount it and zip tie in place. All right, Tony, hold the camera and I'll go ahead and plug it in for you. I am not a certified mechanic, but I have stayed at plenty of Holiday Inn Expresses, so I feel like I'm semi-qualified to only moderately screw this up. All right, we are connected. We're down run under there. And for right now, we're just gonna set that there. And there's the old plug. So now we're on to turning the key on and setting this up on his phone. Let's do it. It is important to remember even though your batteries are on, if you notice, there are no lights on here. That is because that is connected directly to your electronic system. And until your key is on, nothing's going to work. All right, here we go. Tony I just, is I just logged in. in. And I've already, you know, this shows that we're offline. And I, and I already knows that what I have is an Azure AZ228. And you know, I have uh, about 320 hours the last time I did this on the motor. So real quick, what's gonna happen when you get this brand new, it's not gonna show that. Tony's already plugged in and wants to check it when he bought it. So you'll have to go through the set. And again, you just follow the steps on the app. It's super easy. 
but like he says, it shows offline there. It also shows there. Once we're connected, you'll actually see, if you look way up the top right, you'll see the three little Bluetooth uh, signals. Well, they're grayed out right now, but that will start. So, all right, Tony, we're gonna turn your key on. Yep, go ahead. All right, so then he's gonna hit connect. I see power on the um, yep. on the vessel view. I see the uh, Bluetooth light is flashing. I'll go ahead and hit connect. And boom, there you go. He is connected, like I said. So if you look up here. Default. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna talk about those faults here in a second. Let's get rid of those. Your engine's falling apart, man. I know it. This thing hasn't been connected in months. So you can see the blue, blue signals up there and the red means there's a fault. Everything is not ready to go and that is showing faults. So if you remember that last video that I did, we talked about the faults, but let's go ahead and open those up. And again, 90% of those typically are going to be because you don't have those sensors. Right there, no pinnet sensor. Well, we don't need that one. And let's take a look at this one. Level sensor tank A. More than likely, his boat just doesn't have that. Some boats don't, some boats do. Steering position. I almost guarantee he doesn't have that. Most don't. So what you can do, you can silence it or you can block it. Silence it just means it's going to pop up every time you turn it on. Seawater temperature. Again, most boats are not going to have that. So again, you can silence or block it. Silence turns it off just for that one time. Block it means it's not going to pop back up again. And engine or drive trim position. That's simply because... He just doesn't have that sensor on there. So all these are fine. He can block those if he wants to, or he can silence them and they'll pop up every time. So there it is, it is connected. Now, we don't have the boat hooked up to water, so we're not gonna run it. But if you tap RPM, that's where you can start customizing your pages. So there's your intro screen right there. It's gonna tell you what to do and you're all set to go. So it's that quick. Right there it is, the dongle. You plug it right back in there to the purple. Do not forget your Terminator plug. And once it's up and going, you'll see both lights are green and you're all set. Well, we picked a hot day to do this, but uh, all right, so let's take a look. Here it is, installed. Look, we spared no expense, four. We did four cable ties, came over here to the lifting uh, point back here back here and then came underneath see it nestled back there nice and secure and now the piece de resistance let's put the engine cover on nice and tight get her squared up yeah so it's set up and right there is the vessel view dongle Seriously, about $200 and about maybe 10 minutes of your time to get this thing put in there and a an account set up and you've got all of your information at your fingertips. Uh, again, as long as you have sensors on your boat, if you see the asterisk, it means you don't have the sensor. Now, if you want more information and you have sensors, like for example, if you use the vessel view screens or you go through an NMEA 2000 network and go to like a GPS unit, you can see your trim tabs and your motor trim and all that information, but some things that uh, Vessel View uh, Mobile just don't do, but again, price points. So for me, I have my critical information and I'm happy about that. And when I don't have it running, I get a little bit nervous. So got anything else to add, Tony? No, I'm just logging into my account here now that I can see some internet and we will um, go from there. So Tony, you are now Vessel View equipped. Awesome, man. I'm looking forward to get out in the water and use some of this data. I've That's seen right. it. I've seen it save some people's butts. I have seen that. I've witnessed it. It has so. saved butts. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have, we're going to have a video on that coming up here pretty quick. We were out on the water. I literally just said, man, the boat has never run better and kaput. We were dead in the water. 
And the saving grace was, rather than me trying to figure out what it was, Vesselview told me exactly what I needed to fix and replace. So contacted somebody. They ran me out the new IAC and the wrenches to do it because I didn't have a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. Five minutes, I connected it, and we were set to go. Tony's got his new vessel view. He's got his big old iPad. I don't have an iPad. I just got to run on my phone. Low budget. All right, All right well, I'm going to get him to log into his bank account so I can get those numbers, and we're going to take off. Happy All right, boating. guys. 